What's going on everybody? Today is something special. I've said many times, this is something different. But it really is. It's an unboxing video and it's something that I've never ever done before. This is a year in the mind, a year in the making, and it's coming to fruition better than ever before. If you're a new subscriber, thank you for coming. If you're brand new to the channel, hit subscribe. It's worth it. It's free. It's fun. It's entertaining and it's educational. And hit the bell because then you'll be notified of these sweet videos. Now, the unboxing video. All right, folks, the box is down here. You've never seen this before. I'm opening it for the first time. It is completely sealed and we'll go through them together at multiple different angles just so we can get an idea of what's actually in this box. You ready? Let's go. I am a little nervous because the box from Josh's Frogs. That's right. We're gonna open the contents of this box and we're gonna tell you exactly what's in it. I wanna give a major shout out to Josh's Frogs. They do an amazing job at educating and giving the right information for the right animal that you are potentially going to buy. Now we'll talk about a little bit later what animal we're looking to put in this home but we are super stoked to bring Liam even closer to nature than just fish. Now before I get started, everyone knows that I absolutely love fish, but this is something different. I've loved amphibians and reptiles since I was little. I collected frogs, newts, salamanders, snakes, turtles, you name it, I had to have it, I treated it well, and I release it back into nature. But there's so many things that have happened since I was little that now I'm able to keep some things I never thought I can keep before. So let's open this box and we'll talk about how we are going to create our first ever vivarium with dart frogs. So right off the bat, it says, hey, insects and live plants are in here, so be careful. Keep this upright or you'll kill us. Josh's Frogs can be found at www.joshesfrogs.com. Check it out, but uh, let's get in this box. So right off the bat, Josh's Frogs really has some awesome customer service. They talk about not having a product and letting you know that it'll ship ASAP. That's really something to behold when it comes to a lot of these companies because they don't tell you and then you have to call and say, hey look, you left something out of my package, can you help me out? So shout out to Josh's Frogs for letting me know that ABG, the Atlanta Botanical Garden substrate like material is missing and that it's coming ASAP. All right, let's see what else is in this box. So, we've got our packing list of everything we need, really neat. So, this is pretty sweet. I believe these are going to be the oak leaves because they're a little bit smaller. These are the magnolia leaves. Super top layer for these dart frogs. So let's put these bad boys over here. Then, what is this here? We got the dwarf white uh, isopods here. These are the cleanup crew. Uh, these guys will eat up the duty from the frogs, which is really cool, and make this a bioactive vivarium. We've got the substrate barrier, which is gonna protect the frogs from each layer of the bioactive material. And it'll also help not allowing the water to mix directly with the ABG mix going directly into the false bottom. So this is uh, definitely something to have. Spag moss, it's a New Zealand sphagnum moss harvested from a pristine environment of New Zealand's southern west coast. Add water, it'll expand. It's a really good top layer when you're doing a vivarium, especially with dart frogs. Something I knew the wife was gonna be a little nervous about, she doesn't know this, but this is a 32 ounce culture of springtails. So what happens is you add water, the springtails come to the top, and then you just simply take the springtails out and you can continue to have a food source for them and grow springtails, which are going to be part of that bioactive. So really neat. Josh's Frogs has a wonderful array of stuff to help make sure that your cleanup crew is healthy and nutritious so that if the dart frogs do decide to eat one, they are healthy and nutritious. 
I'm gonna leave this in the box, but this is a false bottom. So it's very close to pumice stone, uh, but very light and more airy. Takes on biological bacteria very well, and it helps aerate the bottom so that the water doesn't just stay stagnant and allows it to trickle in. This is an extremely, extremely perfect material for a false bottom. And I've gotta congratulate Josh's Frogs for really you know, stepping it up and getting it bagged and allowing it to be readily accessible on their website for us, especially a new beginner like myself, to just know, boom, I need the false bottom, let's get it rocking. And another neat trick that Josh's Frogs does is they really make it easy, look at this, leaf litter, sphagnum moss, ABG, substrate barrier, boom, false bottom. They're telling you the layers right there. And now the plants. Grower's Choice Kit Plant, this is a bromeliad. We've got a beautiful Allison, and what's cool is these are planted in pots, and immediately we can get these right into the setup, which is cool. We've got a Glabella. This is a nice, uh, you know, nice plant for a vivarium. I've done some research. I'm not very good at the names, but I like that Josh's Frogs has a really, really nice label for me to read. This is a fluffy ruffle fern. Let's peep this real quick. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that, but you're all gonna see it inside the vivarium. What do we got here? We've got tiny tears. Um, these are gonna be really nice once they start growing, especially in this vivarium in the background that we're gonna be using. Boom, a moonlight. I don't know if that's in focus yet, but boom, moonlight. Um, it's got a really nice yellow and green to it. Uh, super excited for that one. What do we got here? Mother fern, mother fern right there, nice and moist still. Um, so really nice array of plants for planting a vivarium. Uh, we've got a super dwarf butterfly plant. It's a mini pixie. It's uh, a podophyllum, I believe is how you pronounce it. Uh, I'm not very good at plants, uh, so I'm hoping that with the help of Josh's frogs and you folks, that this will be able to help me out. This is Freddy. <laughs> So it went from peacock plant to Freddy. Um, really nice looking plant in the vivarium. It's gonna have a lot of nice greens and yellows and maybe some whites. And then we've got the combo meter. Now this is a kit for an 18 by 18. And then a thank you note from Josh's Frogs. This doesn't get better. It tells you, one who plants a garden plants happiness. Enjoy your plant from Josh's Frogs. Thank you for your order. That's just really cool. Check them out on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube. They're on Instagram. There's another bag of the false bottom. <laughs> another great, you know, just helping you out with plants. Josh's Frogs comes through in the clutch. So we've just opened the 18 by 18 complete vivarium kit from Josh's Frogs. Super easy, the only thing we were missing was ABG, but that's on its way. And that'll give us the opportunity to set up this beautiful vivarium and create a thriving environment for our new dart frogs. Now we don't have the animals yet because this vivarium needs at least four weeks plus to cycle, just like an aquarium. So if you know me, you know the education and you know that I like to do things the right way, we're going to do this the right way. We're going to set it up, we're going to plan it, we're going to create a wonderful environment inside an 18 by 18 by 18 enclosure with a beautiful background, a Josh's Frogs kit, and we'll add frogs once it's ready. There's gonna be so much education to this, I'm super excited. This is something completely different than I've ever done before, and I couldn't be more grateful. I also wanted to let you know that if you do decide to purchase from Josh's Frogs, do not hesitate to use the code JWILSON to get 15% off anything on Josh's Frogs. I am super pleased to be able to provide you with that code and I am super grateful for Josh's Frogs for the opportunity to promote not only a wonderful business, but to work together to educate, inspire, and to help you create wonderful environments for whatever animal you decide to put in a beautiful vivarium. Thank you so much for watching, liking. We ask that you comment. Let us know what you think. Is this something that is completely different and really exciting? Or are you like, Jay, what are you doing? Jay is doing this because my son needs to be aware that wildlife comes in all shapes, all sizes, and if you do it right, you can enjoy them for years to come. You know what's next. Holla! You stayed, you stayed for the message. 
I want you to check out Josh's Frog's message. I want you to realize why I believe in this company and why I'm working with them to provide educational entertainment for you folks to create beautiful vivaria and to create just worlds in your home. Whether it's in a fish tank or it's in a small enclosure, we can change the world by doing the right things the right way. I'm excited. I hope you are.